Modeling in Craft Studio is based around five major tools. Position, Orientation, Block Size, Pivot Offset, and Stretch. The other two important buttons to note are Add Block and Duplicate Model Node. Click Add Block to create your first block. The block, ironically, is your building block for all of your models. Click the Position tool. The Position tool will show you the axes in the block. If you click and drag on the heads of one of the arrows, it will move the block. You can also enter information into the text fields underneath the tool. This is useful if you want to have very specific measurements. However, the position tool only uses integer values. This will be important later. The next tool over is orientation. When you click orientation, you'll see circles around the block. These circles will be colored and placed the same way that they were in position. Click and drag one of the circles and you will rotate the block around that axis. Just like the position tool, you can enter data into the text fields on the tool. Note that the orientation tool will go out several decimal places. The next tool over is block size. Block size displays arrows similar to that of the position tool. However, instead of arrows, they are flat on the end. Grab one of the ends and drag, and the block will expand in both directions on that axis. Note that the block expands by integer values, just like position. However, because it expands in both directions, it is technically expanding in 0.5 in both directions, making it so it doesn't actually snap to the grid. This will be important later when we use multiple blocks at the same time. Next up is Pivot Offset. If you start using Pivot Offset, you'll think it works exactly like position. However, it is very, very different. You'll notice that the pink circle in the middle of the block does not move when you use Pivot Offset. This is the actual location of the block, the number that position is referring to. Once you've changed the Pivot Offset, try using the Orientation tool again. The rotation should work differently now since the Pivot Offset is placed differently relative to the block. The final tool is Stretch. Using Stretch will seem a lot like block size, but with finer detail. This, like Pivot Offset, is very different than block size. The major difference is the texture size is unchanged. I'll cover this tool in more detail in a future tutorial. Now that you know how to use all of the tools, create an additional block and size it appropriately for whatever you want to build. Continue to do so until you've built something. Doesn't matter what, just build something. If you can't think of any ideas, build a mustache. Bonus points if you get a monocle in there too. Not for